Well, we uh, started with the Pledge of Allegiance. I believe a prayer should be included, so I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So I'm here to talk about um, the amount of alcohol that seems to be evident in, in the city that we all live in. Um, I'm not sure how many liquor licenses there are, but it seems like there is at least 10 liquor licenses. And I question why there needs to be 10 liquor license, and there could be more than 10 liquor license. So I question your, um, I guess your value. I'm not ridic ridiculing you. I'm just questioning the value of the presence of alcohol. And I'm also questioning the, um, I know Paxton's is one of the restaurants that individuals can take a cup from the restaurant and they can walk with alcohol around certain areas of the city. Um, I am a licensed professional social worker, a licensed professional counselor, and I can be a life coach. I can tell you all that you are encouraging um, irresponsible alcohol habits and you are a part of the culture that we have here that encourages alcohol in a way that can definitely lead into substance problems. I um, see that on uh, upper level. It says Loveland Legacy Foundation, biggest tailgate in Loveland, Ohio State versus Michigan. Well, my definition of tailgate is social gathering in which food and drinks are served at or near the back of a park vehicle. Well, we all know that tailgate in general is another draw for drinking alcohol. And Misty <coughs> so nicely gave me um, a uh, representation of the amount of events that we all have here. And it says music events, bands, or something like that, beverages. Well, off the top of my head, Mayor Kathy Bailey, I think that there are probably 70% of those events that include alcohol. So, um, I am not a teetotaler. I do drink. Um, but I believe this city is um, focusing most of the attractions, most of the types of businesses with alcohol consumption. So, I wonder if you all can think of another way to bring prosperity into our city that doesn't involve alcohol. I know that I could probably give you all 10 or 15 ideas that could promote prosperity in business that doesn't involve Um, what was the other areas of alcohol? Mm, I can honestly say to you all that I really don't encourage my 20 year old, my 27 year old, my 34 year old, or my 37 year old to come to the city that I live in with you all because of the tremendous focus on 
Yeah, we're cooking with gas. Here we are. <laughs>